Hello everyone, my name is Legend Ronnie and this game is Rise of Kingdoms Kusunoki Commander Spotlight version 2.0 This is what I'm gonna talk about in this video and I'm also gonna show you guys some battle reports because I did use him, him in rallies as well, not just on field battles I don't have field battles rallies, uh, field battle reports, but I do have rallies But before we get to that, there's a couple of things that I need to show you and I need to explain um, first of all, you want to know the stars and the sculpture costs from each and every commander because you want to know approximately how much stars you need to level up a commander in general. You have it on the screen and the sculptures you have for epic and for legendary and it is done per level. So you can also know the cost per level. Now, very recommended is that each and every commander you keep them at one star and you try to max out the primary skill after that it's not necessary that you keep them a second star on some legendary is worth it but on kusunoki is not so once you max out his primary skill you can unlock his other four skills and then you can go forward with it <clears throat> he <clears throat> he also has garrison he has skill and he has Archer. So Kusnoki is actually a very, very useful commander. It has a lot of utilities, probably a lot more than you can think about. Because you can use him in garrison on field battles and you can use him on rallies in the same time. Now, people haven't used him on rallies because his skill damage is a little bit lower than the other majority of commanders but we're gonna get to that and you might actually get surprised how much damage kusunoki can do that is one thing now also i have to mention that the talents only apply from the primary commander and same is the equipment they only apply from the primary commander now let me go and show you the rally report and then we're gonna get forward into pairing of Kusnoki into talent and a little bit more about it. Right, so like I was saying, on my favorite, I have a report over here. It's actually two. So this is the first report where I use Kusunoki and YSG. We went against Richard and YSG. His YSG was not max skill, so this is something you want to take in consideration. Devastating damage we've done to them because they we managed to burn the flag. So they didn't reinforce for a very long time, and I'm not sure if you're noticing, they tried to swarm the rally. So this is where Kusunoki actually comes very, very helpful. They tried to use Charles and Ethelfled. It's very obvious why they tried to use Ethelfled is because the attack defense and health that Ethelfled can reduce to a rally or a march whenever she's hitting. So for that reason, they are actually swarming the rally, not necessarily to do damage. Because if we look at the damage, that's ridiculously low. 7,071 versus 122,000. So that's really, really low. Same is over here. They use Minamoto double C. Babers and Sansu, this were probably trying to do some damage. Then they used Pelagius and Genghis Khan. So pretty much they were trying to do some damage. But And look at that, Herman and Boudicca to try to reduce the rage of the rally. So whatever they were trying to do, they were just trying to, you know, pin down the rally as much as they can with debuffs and other type of skills that the commanders have. But you're noticing that it didn't work. So this is the value where Kuznoki and YSG actually comes in handy. Is the amount of AOE damage they can cause. And we're going to go back to his skills. We're going to see more about it. Now this is a rally that is, was actually disbanded. The reason we disbanded this rally is because they were keep reinforcing and the rally did, had a limited amount of reinforcements. So we got to the last reinforcements and then when it was about 800k I disbanded it. You're probably saying they, that we had 40k dead. Yes, that is very true. We had 40k dead. But if you look at the severely wounded, they, because 25% of the troops go in severely wounded. 
So it's just like not even 40. There's like 36k dead. We had more over them. But YSG and LC, they are very well known being very strong in defense. So I would say that this was successful. And the reason I'm saying that is because the amount of marches that we hit with YSG and Kusunoki by doing AoE damage. And again, if you look at this, Ethelflaed and John. With John, they were trying to buff the defense, and with Ethelflaed, they were trying to debuff the rally. So, pretty much same situation. They were just trying to see Boudica and Herman. They were just trying to pin down the rally as much as they can and uh, try to debuff the rally again. Richard and Barca was pretty much used for the same reason, reducing damage. And with all this reduction, we still managed to do very very decent plus a large amount of severely wounded to them so that's a lot of resources speed ups hospital heal mm -hmm. versus extra 36k dead i will say that that was a very successful win right now let's go back to kusunoki and uh, let's see why is his primary skill why it actually went so successful well the main reason you're noticing the first line that it says about his primary skill it removes all negative and control effects from kusunoki troops so that is the main reason why i used him because every time i was using ysg and frederick and it was the rally was being debuffed we were getting very bad trades very bad trades very bad results I was using YSG and someone else, YSG and Minamoto, any kind of archer rallies that I was trying to do, I was having very bad trades because there were so many debuffs going on the rally. So for that reason, I started to use Kusunoki. I was like, we have to do something about these debuffs on the rally. And there you go, removes all negative and control effects from the rally. So whenever Kusunoki is using that, then you have YSG, who is the second one that is casting um, the skill. So pretty much YSG was doing a clean, you know, full skill damage, not reduced by any of Barca skills or Ethelflaed skill or whichever other damage or debuffing uh, skills there are. His second skill is Garrison, the worthy man. Increase garrison counterattack damage when his commander serving as garrison commander. Hmm. Nothing so crazy, just counterattack damage. That's more likely for infantry. Infantry is actually doing a lot better with counterattack. For archers or garrison, I'm not sure if this is great. The reason I was saying that people are avoiding to actually use Kusunoki is because. Of his direct damage factor it's only 300 and then he has for another two seconds 250 and 250 that's an overall of 800 but 800 which is actually lower if it would be just a single attack of 800 i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so he's doing a little bit less damage than some of the epic commanders and players are actually avoiding to use Kusunoki primary but he's actually really good because archers are always a target on the battlefield. Removing all the negative and control effects it's actually helping you and this is something that people are not taking in consideration which is not bound by skill or rage. So it's not bound by anything, just the 10% normal attack, which can pop anytime. Normal attacks of troops have a 10% chance to deal additional damage. And this is what actually compensates his luck on his primary skill of so, so much skill. Damage is the 4 skill. On top of that, he actually gives attack and defense to the archers, which is pretty much exactly what archers need attack and defense so i would say that he is a very good archer commander i even proved it with two rallies so yeah definitely worth it now in terms of the talents keep him on garrison now because i have edward so i have edward and i pretty much don't use kusunoki for rallies because even if i have to disband the rally after one skill edward is still giving me a better trade 
because that one skill Edward does, <laughs> then YSG is actually crazy damage. So even if I disband the rally after one skill from the primary and second, it's still way better than just sending Kusunoki and then disbanding the rally. Because Kusunoki would be much better for a longer rally than just a couple of skill rally. So for that reason, I put him to Garrison. Because I kind of send my commanders in all the places to, to defend most of the times a lot of flags, a lot of, uh, of buildings. And I need to have as many commanders as I can ready with garrison. So that's why Kusunoki, I start with his garrison. As Arrow knocked, he is more of a flag defense commander. And he has King's Guard as well. Now if you want to do this for your city... Or if you want to do anti-swarming for Ark of Osiris. Because in Ark of Osiris inevitably buildings get swarmed. You definitely need no die enemy. So you need to swap King's Guard with no die enemy. And I highly recommend this full skill. Well, not the full skill, but getting feral nature. So this is his Archer build. So I showed you guys the Garrison build. Now this is his Archer build. This is a general build on Archers that I pretty much do on all my commanders except Edward. Edward is the only one that is with full skill. On this one I try to get as much stats to my Archers as possible. Because this commander is not just doing a lot of skill damage. He also needs to do a lot of normal damage. So any small amount of damage that I can increase rather than just his skills because you know his skills is not so high but it's like edward the talent build on edward is different i just want to increase as much as i can skill damage output because that's what he does and the rest of the the commanders i usually do this build on my archer and this part of the skill tree it just works really really good so this is the one that i used on my rallies because he is set up like this. Right, you also have a little bit of rage restoration and all the good parts that increase skill damage. Now that was pretty much about his talent. Now let's go into some pairings. Because you're probably wondering, okay, we use Kusunoki, but with who? Well, if you are free to play, the best pair you can do is Kusunoki primary and Hermon secondary. That's pretty much the best Archer pair you can have. You can also do Kusunoki Primary and John if you don't have a pair for John. Because some players prefer to do Herman Primary with Osman Second or Herman Primary with Budika Second. Because she also has a pretty intense damage factor. And if you actually have that many Archers or you want more Archers on the battlefield, you can even do Kusunoki with John of Arc. Now another interesting pair it is, but a little bit less likely that, that I'll definitely use it, would be Kusunoki primary with Sansu secondary. But that's a little bit less likely, because Sansu is such a good infantry commander, he deserves to be primary. Or at least if you want to use him, would rather pair him with some um, faster commanders, like I use him. I use, this is a build that I use, Babers and Sansu. So again... There is plenty of options, you can go with Kusunoki and actually get good results. And the synergy between him and with Sansu, there's nothing wrong, because Sansu is so much focused on skill damage as well, and has skill damage bonus, and with his expertise, just more damage and restoration. So the synergy actually works. But preferably would be to pair him with other Archer commanders, so you can boost as much as you can the attack and defense which and attack actually boost the uh, and improve the skill damage. So for that reason, I would say Herman uh, with Herman Kusnoki primary Herman second it actually works really good. Kusnoki primary with YSG second it actually it again it works really really good. Edward is a commander that he should always be primary. You never use him as a second in command. Is is not gonna worth it. His primary skill does a lot of damage. You can also use Kusunoki with Edelflaed second with just Archer. Again, there's nothing wrong in this pair as well. You have double AoE. When you go on the battlefield, you want to have as much group damage as possible. You can only realize 
at the end when you check the battle reports and you actually see how many marches you kept hitting using this group damaging commanders like Babers, Sansu Kusunoki, Etherfled, YSG, even Barka that's a, that's a small AoE damage hitting three targets <laughs> in the end. So this is all um, advantages that you can get on the battlefield having all these commanders. And this is pretty much what I try to do. Because even if one is getting targeted, it's the other ones that will continue doing damage. Now, if you want to use him in garrison, if you want to use him as primary in garrison, that's perfectly fine. But you want to put second a heavy nuker. And what do I call a heavy nuker? A commander that does a lot of skill damage. Now, even Minamoto out of option can actually be used because they both have a lot of skill damage. Well, Minamoto has a lot of skill damage, but Kusunoki has the garrison and the skill talent tree. There's nothing wrong in that for garrison as an emergency, not like an old time. Preferably would be to obviously go with some proper garrison commanders. For free to play, you can go Kusunoki primary, Herman second. That's that's good as well. Kusunoki with the uh, with Sansu. That's also good as well. A little bit so so with Eulji, Kusunoki primary and Eulji. Don't get me wrong, Eulji is actually good in defense. But the reason I'm saying that is because Kusnoki's AoE range is a little bit smaller than the other ones. So the synergy between him and Herman is because they both have, they both boost the archers and this guy has additional rage, has a chance to give additional rage, which is really, really good, even for a garrison situation or a defense situation. But preferably when I put a small nuking commander primary like Kusnoki or even or Eulji Mundok. Eulji Mundok doesn't do a lot. He has only 750 which is not that crazy. I prefer to put a commander that does a lot more. So for that reason Herman fills the role 1150. Then you have Sansu 800 plus 200 but up to five targets which is really good or any other heavy nukers if you actually have YSG it's also really good when you defend this is what actually repels the enemy <laughs> trying to deal as much damage as you can to them as well not just being very very defensive and bulky because it's at some point if someone keeps doing damage to you and you're not doing damage back you eventually go down it's, it makes perfect sense trying to do as much damage as possible that's how you take them down that's why i always defend with sansu primary and ysg second is because the amount of skill damage these two commanders can do together and group damage in the same time plus both have rage restoration so it works a mint having a full skill talent tree they are a machine of casting skills and a machine of dealing damage so for that reason i paired them together and they actually work really really good <clears throat> other options you could use kusunoki with not very much you're probably asking how about tomiris well tomiris needs to stack her poison to actually work very well with kusunoki if she will not stack her poisons less or equal to 10 stacks it's only 1400 is not going to be that great but if you have her you can definitely do kusunoki and her she also has 30 percent archer's attack it's a steady 45 percent archer's attack which is not something you want to give away you can definitely try it uh, Kusunoki and El Cid. This is a steady 35% archer defense plus a lot of march speed to the archers. But again, not very much damage on both of them. El Cid is not very well known of dealing a lot of damage. He's mostly known for his disable uh, capabilities and the mobility on the archers. So it can be used, but again, nothing that crazy on the build. Herman and El Cid together. Other options, I would take Mehmet. If you have a 5-5 Mehmet, 
there's nothing wrong in pairing them together. They both do group damage. 1150 plus you no know, whatever Kusunoki does. 20% skill damage bonus for both of them and 20% attack. And preferably you'll bring only archers with you. So again, a very good synergy of skills of using Mehmed a second to Kusunoki. Plus eventually if you have a get to increase this capacity, you can even bring more archers with you. Um, that's pretty much about pairing or field battles. Again, don't avoid Kusunoki because I personally did. And at the beginning of the game, I did avoid Sansu as well. I have a video for Sansu. Very, very good and useful epic commanders. And a lot of utilities for them. A lot of players are actually not paying attention to some of the things that, that are actually good. And, and um, they can regret it. They are working a lot on legendaries. They are doing 5 five one one legendaries. 5-5-1-1 five, five, one, one legendaries. And they are neglecting the epics. Which can actually bring you a lot of benefits on the battlefield. Or for, my lost for your armies. And my or end results. <laughs> this can also work as well. That's pretty much all I have to say about him. Great commander. I really, really like him. And that's why I wanted to do his video. I wanted to um, do his version 2.0. It's been probably almost a year since I've done his commander spotlight. So, yeah. If any questions, always drop them in the comment section below. I'll definitely answer them. Until next time, this is your boy Jeroni signing off. Peace out, yo. Take care.